Good morning, everyone. If we could get everyone to uh, take your seats, grab your cups of coffee or your, uh, your breakfast and take a seat and we'll get started in just a minute. So good morning, everyone. My name is Keith Montgomery. I'm the executive director of the Center for Total Health. Thank you for coming and uh, visiting with us today. This is an important topic, actually a very hot topic here in our space. Uh, we get lots of questions about it, and uh, we're always looking forward to learning more about the latest and greatest in telehealth. Um, the center has been open for about six years now. If you haven't been here before, I just want to give you a little background on the center while you visit. Uh, the center uh, is really Kaiser Permanente's social innovation space. We talk about all different types of topics here in this space. So telehealth today could be preventive health tomorrow, could be end of life care. Uh, we just had a group in here yesterday, it was about uh, highway safety. So um, lots of different topics all related to health. Um, and this space is available for anyone that's looking for a space to have an innovative environment uh, for your discussions or the topics that you want to talk about. Um, some basic housekeeping I want to make you aware of. Please silence your phones, of course. Um, if you do need to get on to the internet, we do have free Wi-Fi. All you have to do is open up an internet browser um, and accept our terms and you'll be right on and able to check in uh, on emails and such. Um, restrooms. Restrooms are just around the corner here. Uh, of course, you saw your breakfast in the back. Um, should we have an emergency, we do have everyone's uh, list, uh, list of everyone's names, so we can, can account for everyone. But just so you know where your exits are, uh, you came in through the front exit, down the back hallway, and to your right, out the door, through our garage, is another exit. And of course, behind us uh, is another room that acts out into the uh, out into the uh, the garage too. Uh, so, should we have to ex exit for any reason, uh, just so you're aware. Um, some topics I want you to keep in mind uh, for today. Uh, there is a tour at three o'clock if you want to learn more about the Center for Total Health. Um, so I'll be conducting that tour, but we have staff throughout the facility that can answer your questions. And we have a number of exhibits on telehealth, telehealth at Kaiser Permanente, as well as what others are doing, because it's very important to us in this space. We want to talk about what is the best and brightest in the industry. So uh, we feature a lot of different representatives, uh, technology and initiatives. Uh, a videographer and photographer are on site, so please be aware that there will be photography throughout the day. If you do not want to be photographed, just let the photographers know. Um, and some people have agreed to do some interviews, so that has been set up uh, back by the food in our mission center. Uh, other than that, uh, I think that covers our basic housekeeping, but it's my privilege to have you here today to talk about this important topic. And I'm going to turn it over to uh, Murray Ross. Thank you, Keith, and good morning, everyone. I'm Murray Ross, uh, director of the Kaiser Permanente Institute for Health Policy. Um, I have no disclosures and um, no directions to give you, so you've, you've got all you're going to get. But I wanted to welcome everyone to today's forum on leveraging telehealth to expand access to high-quality care. For almost 20 years, the Kaiser Permanente Institute for Health Policy has um, worked to shape policy and practice with the evidence and experience from our innovative finance and delivery system at Kaiser Permanente. In support of that mission, um, we initiated this 2017 um, Health Policy Forum series. Um, at these events, we convene experts to share knowledge, spark discourse, advance collective thinking on topics of critical importance. Last month, uh, we had a session here on mental health and wellness. Uh, we have a number of events planned for 2018, and then we're really looking forward to today's event. We're going to spend a lot of time today talking about um, practicing medicine in the 21st century. We'll consider the drivers of new models of care, the emerging evidence, and identify where we need more evidence, and explore the policy and operational challenges to broad adoption of telehealth. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to spend with us, um, to contribute to the discussion. There's so much we could talk about, um, but we, before we do that, I want to offer one general thought, and that is, the questions we ask determine the answers. 
it's not as profound as that pause would lead you to believe. <laughs> um, the, the point is, far too often, our discussions tend to hone in on pretty narrow details. It's return on investment for telehealth or concerns about increased provider workloads. These are important issues, especially to those who are paying for the investments in infrastructure uh, and to payers and policymakers. But we need to broaden our thinking to address other considerations, such as the impact of telehealth modalities on the populations we serve. And if we think narrowly, our solutions will be narrow. So today, I want us to expand our thinking and push ourselves to get interested in some things that maybe we haven't focused on before. Be curious, be inspired, and ask different kinds of questions. Appropriate to these times, um, John F. Kennedy once said, too often we enjoy the comfort of opinion without the discomfort of thought. And I'm going to challenge us today not to do that, but to stretch ourselves to think in new and innovative ways. Today's conversation is really about driving innovations that advance care, transform the patient and member experience, and improve quality. So one of the purposes of these forums is to leverage our collective brain trust that helps all of us formulate the right questions. We have an event hashtag, which should be on your tables and is up on the screen uh, and in the agenda. We encourage you to share your thoughts um, and to make connections with one another on social media and to your, to your social media networks. So with that, I'm going to take a little bit of the moderator's privilege for a moment and talk about some of the things that uh, we at Kaiser Permanente think about often. First, and I think many of you, maybe all of you already know this, with technology moving at a rapid pace, consumers expect convenient ways to access health care as they do with other industries. We're all used to booking flights, travel, hospitality, financial. We do our banking on our phones. Um, I think it's safe to say there's a growing recognition and acknowledgement among providers and delivery system leaders and even policymakers that leveraging technology to augment care holds promise and maybe is even essential. Second, we would argue that that promise is best realized when technology-enabled care occurs in a coordinated manner. In our system, telehealth options are simply an extension of our integrated care, not an extra service you have to add on. And as many of you know, Kaiser Permanente has a long history in this space, providing secure email and phone visits long before other providers. Included in our telehealth portfolio are th also things like doctor-to-doctor -doctor consults and video visits. So here's some things we've come to know. First, when telehealth is treated as a product or a one-off service, the patient probably won't know much about the physician, and the physician won't know about much about the patient. They'll only know what's discussed during the consult. In the Kaiser Permanente model, oftentimes issues are resolved during the telehealth visit, whereas with third-party solutions, consumers may be encouraged to follow up with their primary care physician, leading to unnecessary visits. When our telehealth um, capabilities combined with a connected system, patients may benefit from reduced diagnosis and treatment time. Inside Kaiser Permanente, the, the technology enabling doctor-to-doctor -doctor consults can help save lives and speed up um, the, whole, the whole care process. Our telestroke program is a great example of this. This program, um, and there's some material in your brochures, uh, or your, your packets about this, uh, is available in uh, where we operate in California, Oregon, and Washington State. And it's addressing the long-standing challenge of reducing lag time in treating strokes. By employing mobile video technology in emergency rooms, we're enabling stroke patients' treatment to start sooner, saving precious minutes in the ER, preserving brain function, and saving lives. And again, you can learn more about that in, in, the, uh, in the materials in your folder. Also, demand for, um, from our members is growing. They want to interact with us via different modalities, such as telephone, video, and secure messaging. The majority of our outpatient um, interactions are now happening through these modalities. And since 2012, across the entire KP enterprise, our members have had more telehealth touches than in-person visits. To move the needle forward, um, we need a collective voice on these and other public policy issues. We need others to speak up about their, experiencing, their experiences leveraging technology to advance care. Recognizing that policy will play a critical role in identifying viable solutions, we need all the perspectives represented here today. Federal, state, employer, researchers, providers, advocates, wonks, end users, to inform and advance the dialogue. So I thank you all for being here, and I look forward to your um, active participation during the, the meeting.